I'm David Spetzler. I'm the President and Chief Scientific Officer for CARES Life Sciences. What we've basically done is moved the bar on clinical testing for cancer patients. So we're the only company that is measuring all of the RNA and all of the DNA in circulation as well. And that's really important because, you know, if we can move towards a non-invasive approach to understanding disease, that's going to unlock tremendous opportunities for patients. So a lot of uh, current clinical tests are just looking at a small number of genes, you know, maybe, you know, two, three, four hundred genes. And that's really a missed opportunity uh, because in the entire value chain, what is most important is the patient. And so when you're testing a piece of somebody, uh, you don't want to miss the opportunity to get as much information as possible. So we're measuring 23,011 genes, all of them, all the known genes at the DNA level and the RNA level on every single patient. And so the opportunity that we saw was in creating personalized approaches to oncology treatment strategies. And to do that, we started to measure aberrations in the molecular system. So mutations in the DNA, changes in the RNA that we could then use to predict a patient's response to particular drugs. And when you get it right, then it has a very significant impact on a patient's life because you know they're avoiding unnecessary toxicity as associated with drugs that don't work, and they're getting drugs faster that do work. So our, our contribution uh, is really towards the fundamental creation of the world's largest clinical genomic data set uh, that is allowing us to find patterns sooner than anybody else. So we generate this data, we apply machine learning and AI techniques to deconvolute these patterns that are really far more complex than the human brain is capable of understanding in order to reduce that data set to something simple and actionable by the clinician. So we're really at the, the leading edge of this entire situation because we've been doing this so long. We started this in 2008. So we've profiled more patients than anybody else, more broadly than anybody else, and have been collecting longitudinal clinical outcome that entire time. So that fundamental approach to understanding disease at a molecular level is what is going to derive a new era of medicine. Um, beyond oncology. It's something that can apply to, to rheumatoid arthritis or Parkinson's or Alzheimer's. It's, it's really every disease at the end of the day uh, that is molecularly driven. And so the technology that we've created for oncology is applicable everywhere. So what we're doing in the tissue and in the blood really opens up this incredibly new, uh, exciting era of medicine. And we're at the very beginning of it, uh, but you know, it, it is a true molecular revolution in terms of advancing human health.